Yo, what's up? It's Anatom Bariola, Mr. Bariola, a.k.a. Bariola-esque. And you are relaxing, chilling, sipping wine, whatever you're doing with Talk With Taj Show, talkwithtaj.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another special edition of the Talk of Todd Show. And I'm sitting here with a very special guest, best-selling author. And tonight he's going to be at the Six Lounge starting at 7 p.m. for Cocktails and Conversation. He's here to tell us about that, his new book, Gentlewoman, and more. And we're sitting here oh, with man. Anatine. Yes, sir. Also, and I hope I said that right. Very old, man. Very old. It's all good. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've been practicing your name for a whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it feels. It takes practice, man. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about, um, you know, you're here for an event, Cocktails uh -huh. and Conversation. Where did that idea come from, the concept, and what, what is that event going to be about? Um, it's really just a cool conversation, man, over libation, you know, like they say alcohol is a conversational lubricant, so it loosens everybody up. And um, it's, we're just discussing stuff that people think about but don't talk about. They may, they may talk about within like their, like you and your homies may have a conversation about it or, you know, girlfriends get together in their, their beauty salon and chit chat. <laughs> so we're bringing that necessary conversation to the forefront so that we can try to create some, some real solutions. You know what I mean? Instead of just having like, you know, women pegging themselves against men and men hating women. We're trying to bring bring things together. I know the game comes on tonight, so I don't know how many men are going to be there. Right. But, uh, you know, still we're having that conversation as being open and candid and trying to create solutions, man, and giving each other uh, our perspective on male and female relations. All right. Now, you have a new book. Yes. Gentle Woman. I, I like that title. Yes, sir. And I saw the title. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. And then you also, I'm, I'm a sucker for artwork. Right, you right. Know, if, it's, if it's unique or if it's very creative, right. I, I'll buy into it just because of that. Yes, you know? yes. And well, you, you, you were part of the marketing. Like, yeah, people, <laughs> so I try to, I love art as well, so I try to, you know, create something. It's just not some book cover, but something that's kind of filling, you know, so somebody's in the art. So you have the, the notebook, Gentle Woman, and like I said, the, the artwork. Right. Where did the idea and the concept come from, Gentle Woman? Right. And then the concept of having the crown with the wig right, and, right. and that whole concept. You know what, man? Um, Gentle Woman, man, I was just having a conversation with my wife, and she was like, I was originally calling the book something else, like Burial S Part 2 or something. And uh, I used the term Gentle Woman, and she was like, that's the name of your next book. I was like, yo, you're right. It, just, it has this just, it's so succinct and so matter of fact and to the point, but it's its like this bold kind of statement. And I don't think women had a, a like a, a, an adjective to describe like what I'm trying to describe. And that word already existed, but it's not used frequently. You know what I mean? Right. Especially amongst us, it's not really used like that. So I wanted to um, give this word some power, give it some life and allow women an opportunity to subscribe to it in that entire lifestyle. Now, the cover, man, I can't take full credit for it. It was an accident. It was an accident, man. Um, the model, she normally wears her hair in this natural, right? And I wanted I wanted to make this statement with this black woman on the cover with this big afro. Because I knew that all races would pick up the book, um, all ethnicities, all backgrounds, ages. And I, I thought it said something for, you know, a little white girl somewhere with this this black woman with this afro on a cover, and she's subscribing to all the ideas in the book. You know, it just kind of right. shifts the the thought of how black women are portrayed right. and how they're how they're perceived. So I was like, you know what? Let me force this little issue right here. And there's gonna, this book's going to be in a bunch of homes and stuff, and I know that. So let me do something different and, and try to um, try to change that mindset as far as how black women are perceived, right? So the model shows up with her hair all the way down. I was like, yo, I've never even seen you with your hair all the way down. Like, I was upset, <laughs> but it, it worked out, man. I was upset, so I said to her, we, sh we shot her, you know, from the front, shot her, shot her. I wanted to have this real stoic kind of model-esque look. And then right before she left, I said, you know, why don't you turn around? I had this idea. I said, why don't you turn around? She, I, I like the idea of the crown. It just, you know, it, it exudes royalty and regality and um, kind of like how I view women and how women were created, you know. Um, so that's where the crown came from, but she just, we figured it out. I had her turn around, we shot it, 
from the back, she was like, I don't know about that idea. You know, that's mm -hmm. kind of weird. I said, just maybe we could put that on the back. So it's like front, back, facial thing. So I was, I was looking at the final shoot and I said, I kind of like this on the front. You know what I mean? It's, it kind of has a mysterious appeal. It does. It kind of has this, it goes in line with the message that I'm trying to convey where this is how society sees women from the back. You know, we view them the wrong way. <laughs> women, That's funny you said that. Women view yeah. themselves some, in, some, in some instances in Probably that way right. too. And this is the direction that society, society is going in. So I made sense out of the cover, which happened to be an accident. And um, it just worked, man. It was just like one of those things. Like I hear Quincy Jones talk about Michael Jackson's album, Thriller. When he was creating it, there was just stuff that just worked. Some things right. weren't like, they were forced. just, yeah, they were yeah. by happenstance. It wasn't forced. Uh, sometimes it's just like that, man. And that happened with the first book cover, too. So it's interesting that it, that it turned out that way, but I'm more than satisfied with the final thing.